monolithic core. The Odessa 9 from Dead Air Armament is a highly modular 9mm pistol suppressor. It's very small diameter, allows it to be used with traditional height pistol sights and still maintain a good sight picture. It can be modified for a variety of length from maximum suppression in its longer configuration to an ultra compact size and then everything in between. The Odessa 9 is rated for 9mm, however it can be used with smaller calibers such as 380 or 22 long rifle. In its full length configuration, if you were to include all the baffles here, it's 8.5 inches long and it's 1.1 inches in diameter. It has no minimum barrel length restrictions and features a black nitride finish. It is a tubeless design where each individual baffle screws into the next one and we'll get into that in more detail here shortly. It is worth noting, it ships with a half by 28 piston, but the Odessa 9 pistons are not compatible with the Wolf or the Ghost. Instead, they're compatible with other companies' pistons, such as Silencer Co. and Rugged. Inside the cardboard box the Odessa 9 ships in, you'll find a decal, an instruction manual, and this hard plastic case containing the Odessa 9 and everything important. If we open this up, you'll find the Odessa 9 itself in two pieces, the end cap tool, a half by 28 piston, spring, shims, and underneath here, the necessary tools for maintenance and disassembly and reassembly on the Odessa 9. As far as assembly, disassembly, and maintenance, we're going to start out with the Odessa 9 completely stripped down. If you need to know how to disassemble anything, just go ahead and reverse the processes that we're going to show in this video. We're going to start out in the first part setting up the piston and booster housing, and then in the second part we're going to figure out how to put in the baffle stack. So starting out, take this rearmost portion, there's a white dot. It, that white dot go ahead for now and point it downward. Take the desired piston, in this case half by 28, make sure it's free of excess carbon and a little grease on that piston is a good idea. Go ahead and put the piston in there, again white dot facing downward, and put the spring in as well. It includes these three shims. If you're having trouble with cycling on a specific host firearm, you may want to use one, two, or three shims in there. They just drop right in as such, but in most cases they're not necessary. They're just provided if you really want to fine tune the Odessa 9 to a specific firearm. Once that piston and spring are in there, take that retaining cap, and there is a couple O-rings inside, so it's going to be a tight fit. Go ahead and press it down in there, take the provided wrench, and then screw in that retaining cap. If you want to change to a different piston, such as a metric 13 left hand, you just reverse that process. Take off this cap and spring, switch pistons, put in the spring, and then put on the cap again. Now that we've gotten this rear portion fully assembled, we'll decide how many baffles to use. In this case, to save time, we're going to use three. So all of these baffles are numbered, one, two, three, four, five, six, so on. You'll start out with the lowest number. So since this is the first baffle, it'll be the number one. Go ahead and tighten it down to where the one aligns with that dot, and then grab your next baffle. As you would expect, being the second baffle, this is baffle number two, is marked, same thing. And make sure to ensure proper torque 
that you get that dot and all of those numbers in a perfect line. So as we said, we're going to use three baffles. It's going to be a little loud, but a very short configuration. The last baffle I'll put in is baffle three. If you want to add more, just keep repeating that process. But since we're staying at this length, take that end cap and just screw it in. Take the provided end cap tool and tighten it up. And if you do misplace it, it is the same tool that they use for the ghost and the mask as well, so there's some versatility. In this case, we've got our three baffles, end cap, pistons installed. It's good to go on the host firearm and enjoy it. If you want to add more baffles, simply take this front cap off with the tool, add in however many baffles you'd like in order, and then put the front cap back on. Decibel reduction was a little bit difficult on this one because there's so many different configurations you can do with the Odessa 9. On a SIG P226 Combat with 147 grain American Eagle, in the full 11 baffle configuration, it came in at 127.0, which is pretty on par for a full length suppressor of that size. 10 and 9 baffles had a minimal difference, sounded real good still, but that 8 to 7 is where it started to make a jump. It's six baffles, while the average was 139.8. A few of the shots in that group were over the 140 decibel mark, and it just kind of goes up from there. So if you want to take a look at every different configuration, you can go ahead and pause this video now. But again, it really depends on the configuration. If it's short with no baffles, it's loud. If it's full length, it's quiet. And then you've got a range anywhere in between that really comes down to your personal preference. The smaller diameter of the Odessa 9 and being able to clearly see your sights really helps in making longer distance shots. In that previous video clip, I was consistently hitting steel at about 45 yards without any sort of problems at all. The Odessa 9 also really excels at being configurable. It helps for guys that may want a long configuration and have a quiet suppressor or a very short compact or somewhere in between. If you have any questions on the Odessa 9 or any other products we carry, feel free to give us a call, email, or stop on into the shop.